back to see the magic mushroomies. Hi. My room was weird, everything was weird. Why am I crying? <laughs> Seeing me struggling going through this time. I don't want to feel that way. I mistakenly wanted to feel different when I started my microdosing journey. Cheers to that! Another green mushroom smoothie. <laughs> Na zdrowie. And this is exactly what I wanted! Hi guys, my name is Margarita and welcome back to my channel where we talk about sustainability and nature connection. This is a second part of my microdosing journey. This video is going to be a diary. I recorded myself every other day through the whole month of me taking microdoses of psilocybin. If you have missed my previous video, please make sure to watch it first. In that video, I am talking more about microdosing as a concept concept, what is it, how to do it, why to do it, and why would anyone consider doing it. And just saying it once again that I'm not recommending anything to anyone and I'm over here just sharing my personal story and my personal experience. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. This video came out to be really raw and super personal. I was feeling quite low and was in a really dark place at the beginning of the journey and I felt completely different by the end of this experience. So I really recommend you to watch this video till the end to get the whole picture of my experience. And of course, support this video with your thumbs up and your comments. So today is the day. Today I am starting my journey. I woke up in the morning and I am not feeling the greatest today. I feel low and tired and demotivated. I want to go back to bed and <laughs> stay there all day and do absolutely nothing. So I already went ahead and I did my intentions. So there is a protocol that comes with this kit, a bunch of different questions that you have to ask yourself um, to help you understand like what you're trying to achieve with this uh, microdosing journey. Right now, I'm about to take my first dose. Well, firstly, I'm very excited to open the pack to see how it looks inside. Also keep watching this video if you wanna get a special bonus that I prepared for you with Earth Resonance. So inside we have, this is basically the magic mushroomies. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. The taste is like super earthy, a little bit sour but it is not bad at all. I <laughs> instantly feel more excited. Obviously nothing started working. I just feel, I don't know, like interesting. Like this is like something exciting that I am doing. And uh, today in just about a few hours, I'm actually joining an aesthetic dance. Usually it is a wonderful experience by itself, but I think um, with the microdosing, it would be even deeper experience. And I'm gonna let you know how it goes. Good morning. Today is day three of my mushroom journey. Just woke up and I'm drinking my uh, second dose. A little bit about my experiences in the last three days. I went to an aesthetic dance, which was a magical experience. I'm not sure that it was enhanced by mushrooms because I usually feel this like sense of connection to people, to nature, to music. On the first day I was definitely more calm and less anxious and more accepting, forgiving, that is 100% true. But I was also way more tired after the dance probably, but I was exhausted. I had less energy than usual, I slept for 11 hours, had horrible nightmares tonight woke up this morning absolutely exhausted and drained i don't know like if you can see my face but yes i do not connect any of that to i don't know like negative side effects of mushrooms this is usually how i am one day i am naturally feeling really high the next day usually i feel extremely low and my roller coaster is like that cheers to this <laughs> so i am pretty positive that today's gonna be a good day and i will manage to be productive i will manage to focus and i will manage to achieve the things that i want to achieve 
to the special bonus. Actually, I got in touch with Earth Resonance myself because I really enjoyed my experience and I really believe in this brand and their mission. Basically, they were kind enough to offer every single one who is going to order a pack of psilocybin using the link in the description box with a free pack of Lion's Mane and that is an incredible deal. Lion's Mane is another type of mushroom. It's not psychedelics, but it has incredible benefits on our health and well-being. I have been taking it daily for the last four months and I saw incredible results, uh, especially with my energy level and productivity. Good morning! Today is day five. I don't really feel and see the difference during the day. I still feel really, really anxious. I experience like a whole mix of different emotions. The difference right now is that all those feelings and emotions, they kind of feel like on the surface. So it is really easy to understand what exactly I am feeling, to kind of like accept it and to move on with it. Another thing that I wanted to mention is my dreams. Something very interesting is happening over there. I've pretty much been having nightmares every single night. I have an incredible ability to like almost like program my dreams and control them. And in my dream, usually I know that I am dreaming. And if I don't enjoy it anymore, more. I can wake myself up, I can then change the dream into something else. So in the last five, five days I've been having nightmares that was not very pleasant, they were super super vivid. My brain is not relaxing, my brain is doing crazy incredible things in those dreams, relieving my fears and, and traumas and all those things and I wake up exhausted. In my dream I realized that this is too much, like that is the reason why I'm gonna wake up tired again. So I woke myself up, I was so shocked I could understand and comprehend like all of those things in my dream, then make a decision that it is probably too exciting and too tiring for my brain so I should wake myself up. Then I did that and I completely freaked out. My room was weird, everything was weird. I thought I'm literally like chipping balls a little bit. I woke up, I was like, oh my God, this is like all mushrooms fault and they're making me chip. This is not good for me, I should stop. Like I'm freaking out right now. I managed to calm myself down and tell myself that no matter what is happening, it is in my head and I am in control of that. It definitely gave me an understanding how freaking powerful I am. It almost feels like the mushrooms are giving my brain more power, more like processing power. If I, if I imagine it like a computer, right? It is now probably working harder. If I can bring my brain out, out of the dream, calm it down, then almost like put like a different movie in my brain for me to sleep and to relax, not to think, but to relax. I can do it during the day as well, right? I can just like change the movie. I have absolutely no idea if anything, what I said right now made any sense, but this is what is happening and it's my experience. Um, so far, I have no idea if I am enjoying it or not. I'm just like, observing and watching really careful, making notes. Today is day five and who knows what's gonna happen by the end of the month, but Thanks for being here with me on this journey. Have you ever tried microdosing? What are your thoughts about it? Are you worried to try it? What are you worried about? It would be great to hear your thoughts, so share them in the comments below. Let's discuss. Today is day seven. It's been a week of my microdosing journey. So the last few days were rough. <sighs> I feel sad. A few days ago when I was saying that it feels easier um, to observe like all the feelings and emotions because it feels like they're all just on the surface so you just have to name them. It is the same thing about all the bad experiences and all the negative thoughts and all of my self-criticism that I struggle with all the time. Why am I crying? It feels like all experiences just intensify including, unfortunately, the negative ones as well. I started microdosing um, during the last week of my cycle. It was my intention because I wanted to see if that would improve my like mood instabilities, like my mood swings. It didn't improve it, but also it didn't make it any worse. It is exactly how it always was. I feel really, really low during this week. I can just like 
almost like see a movie of myself seeing me struggling going through this time and as I watch it and as I observe it I can I don't want to feel that way I mistakenly wanted to feel different when I started my microdosing journey and I did not expect that I will face like all this darkness in me the darkness needs work that darkness needs love and compassion and is uncomfortable it is horrible it is it is dark place that no one wants to go to am I taking active steps to deal with it no just that <laughs> We all have to live with darkness. It is absolutely nothing that scares me. I knew that it is part of me. I'm trying to come to peace with it and trying to understand how to learn. What can I do to make it feel better? I am 100% sure that I will experience all the benefits and all the positive effects probably a little bit later. Wow, just looking at trees right now. I'm moving so beautifully in my garden and it makes me feel sad. For everyone who's watching this video and they're like, oh my god, I'm never gonna try microdosing because she looks like a complete emotional mess. This is me basically all the time. I can watch trees and cry. Did you know that psilocybin is not considered to be addictive? Well, simply because some people can meet their shadow self and a lot of darkness during this process, which can be quite exhausting. So not a lot of people are considering to be tripping daily. And and by the way, microdosing is not tripping. Good morning, it is day nine. Cheers to that, another green mushroom smoothie. Na <laughs> zdrowie. I feel very different today. I feel like I'm coming to some sort of like understanding and realization. So this morning, like every morning, I was working out and listening to motivation talks and speeches. Today, something that I was hearing like really clicked. No, maybe like my whole intention for this journey was like just a little bit off because I was trying to prove to myself that I can have like more motivation, productivity and focus like naturally. And I was like the opposite of what I wanted to achieve. I was less productive and less focused and I was ruminating more on my like obsessive thoughts and stuff like that. And today I understood that I have to put the work in. It is no magic. I cannot change my motivation and my focus by just taking some supplements. I have to do something about it. I have to change my routine. I have to practice. I have to practice. It is like focus is like meditation, right? Whenever you lose it, you just have to bring yourself back to it. Whenever you don't want to do something, you still have to do it. It is all about discipline. It is all about like doing what you told yourself that you're gonna do no matter what, no matter how you feel. We cannot wait until we're gonna feel better, wait until we're gonna be more inspired and more motivated to do something. We first have to do something and then the feeling will come. And I don't have to wait for the moment until I magically and suddenly somehow will feel focused and productive within. No, this is work and I have to, and I have to like sit and practice it like meditation. Did you know that psilocybin mushrooms are considered to be legal and decriminalized in a lot of countries around the world including Portugal where I am right now but they are still considered to be an illegal drug in a lot of countries what do you think about that should they be more legal in more countries around the world since they're proven to have such an incredible benefit on our health and well-being and proved to heal so many different diseases let us know your thoughts in the comments Today is day 11. It is also full moon. Usually during full moon, I feel super shaky and weird. Everything feels like it's supposed to be exactly like that. I feel love inside my heart. I feel like I am radiating from inside out and I feel that I am attracting things. <laughs> I feel incredibly peaceful 
and calm. Everything around me is incredibly beautiful. I hear nature sounds and the birds singing and it's like the most beautiful symphony ever. I feel that this journey is exactly what I needed. I feel so powerful and so strong in myself that I am not scared anymore of making mistakes and I feel no fear. Today my heart is so open. I want to give a piece of it to absolutely everyone. Today is day 15, halfway. Like when I look at trees, I cannot just see, but I can almost like feel the sway. When I go out in nature, I can focus on sound so well and like every single blow of the wind and like movement of trees and leaves is just incredible. And I can like literally stare at it forever. It is a little bit tiring to be honest because I get so excited by nature. Everything looks great and beautiful. I'm always looking around and like you know staring at the distance and be like oh my god this is so beautiful day 18 today is my low day they're still happening very much so still have a very good day versus very low day I have a feeling that this experience is only exaggerating whatever you're feeling in the moment if you're feeling happy you're feeling extremely happy like you feel the happiness in every single cell in your body and when I feel low and sad and a little bit anxious unfortunately that explodes in my head as well I can still refocus I can still make my day better but I would still feel like lower comparing to the day before but it is the process let's check in a few days and see what's happening It is day 21 and I feel good. I briefly looked into goals and intentions that I had for this journey and I was mind blown. So many things improved and I grew so much over the last 21 days and it's not even the end. And I feel really content and accepting. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Let's finish here then. Just realized something that I wanted to share that is related to my intention. My intention for this journey was to improve my focus for my work. I think this journey is uh, trying to show me the focus like on a deeper and bigger level. If I'm thinking about work, my focus definitely improved, but it also improved in all different aspects of my life. All the internal voices, overthinking is kind of like turned off a little bit. It is less intense right now and I feel that I can easily be present right now. So yeah, just another thought out there. Yesterday I had an extraordinary experience with myself and the mirror. So I was doing this practice where I was sitting in front of the mirror and I was looking myself into my eyes <laughs> very deeply and I was giving myself love and I was telling myself that I love myself. That experience was so enhanced. I literally could look into my soul. I had this like incredible connection with myself and yes, I was asking myself like, who am I? Like who? is it that is looking at myself in the mirror who is it past that body who am i um, but what came up for me was that i am a creator of my reality of my emotions of hate and love for myself i'm i'm creator of the content that i put out for people Wow, today was uh, 
interesting. I went rock climbing and the session was completely horrible. I couldn't do anything. I was feeling like really tired and weak and I slept for 11 hours tonight, but still felt just super tired. Then I came home and as soon as I sat down, I had this incredible boost of productivity and focus and this is exactly what I wanted uh, so I managed to get a lot of work done and then at the end of the day I went and I had my roller skating session usually I am quite like um, aware of like people being around me and watching me which I love but sometimes it can be a little bit uncomfortable really felt the music and the dancing on roller skates and I had no fear usually I am like a little bit cautious because I'm not very good at that like people just looked so happy looking at me and they're like yay good girl <laughs> and I'm very happy Oh my god, the birds are singing! Fuck those headphones, right? The world is here and it's here for me. Today is the last day of my microdosing journey. Like I feel this connection <laughs> throughout this month. I have been feeling it every single day. When I go into nature, I can feel and hear the air and I can hear the birds and literally all of it, all of those sensations that I experience from like the feel of the wind or hearing the birds, it literally goes straight into my heart. I think that uh, this whole experience kind of just like brings out love from within you. When I direct it to nature, it is magical. It is definitely a way of uh, meditation. I feel really full and complete. Uh, I think overall those 30 days were exactly what was needed. Overall, I had an amazing experience. I was able to be more connected to nature. Like I think that I elevated my nature connection even more. And before that, I thought that it's not possible to feel even more connected than I was. Yes, it is possible. And biggest lesson I think was uh, refocusing and reshifting my attention. This journey is over. Would I recommend it to other people? Uh, no. I don't want to recommend anything because when it comes to things like that, it has to come from within you. You have to want it. You have to know enough about it to try it. You have to be prepared. You have to dedicate a lot of time um, in your day to reflect, to journal, to do yoga, to connect to things, to explore nature and stuff like that. It has now been about three months since I finished my microdosing journey and I still take microdoses once once in a while, maybe every two weeks or so. So far I've stopped and honestly, on this day today, I feel better than I have ever felt in my life. And I honestly have absolutely no idea what is the reason for this, but everything is going really well in my life and I feel really content with myself and with my progress. I mean, I progress all the time, but I feel like in the last three months, I have done a lot of things but still generally I feel definitely more energetic and more content and more productive and more focused and more hopeful for everything I want to think that it is both my personal work because I have not just been taking magic mushrooms and sitting on the sofa doing nothing I have been working really really hard both uh, on my business and uh, on my healing journey I really enjoyed my experience and I think that it was exactly what was needed for me. I would definitely be doing it again, probably not a 30 day um, microdosing journey because it was quite an intense um, experience. Maybe like bi-weekly or something like that. I think I would definitely keep it part of my habits. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. It means a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell button to 
receive notifications about my upcoming videos because we have so much interesting and exciting content about environment and nature connection coming out your way and you don't want to miss it out and moreover you want to share it with your friends and you want to tell everyone about it because it's great so I see you here next week bye